Alright there procrastinauts, mine's Pavorian and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. Last time we were here we got ourselves into orbit around the Centaur system. Now I know that what the first thing you're thinking of is what is this you're looking at here, this craft right here. Well, I kind of did you guys a little bit of a favour and I got myself another craft out here. I cut out all the launch and the transfers so we can get straight into some action with what I've got planned for today. I want to do a landing and I want to get onto one of the planets and I've already picked my target as Ringo, the other rings planet. I've got myself set up on an inclination change right here so this should be quite exciting. This should be pretty good indeed. We're not going to use a lot of fuel to do this by the looks of things so this could be pretty awesome. If anyone's interested in seeing a launch and whatnot. Here it is dead quick now. LOL. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and warp to my point. What the hell? Why does me think say NA? God damn it. Oh man, right, so uh, anyway, yes. Uh, what was I going to talk about? Yes, the last video I pumped out was a KSP multiplayer video, which some of you guys kind of shats your pants over just a little bit. Yes, um, I just do want to mention that that is a mod, uh, which is actually going to have a bit of an improvement done to it in the next couple of days, so make sure you keep your eye on that, and at some point I might get to do a KSP multiplayer series with some people, some, some popular people, you know. But um, apart from that, yeah. Don't, don't go crazy. It's just a mod, guys. It's not going to be part of 23. Uh, I do have to stipulate that because I think I might have pumped out a bit of a false message. So, it, yeah, that's not part of that. It's a mod. Go check the download description in that video. You can go and have yourself a little go with that. Um, secondly, I do want to actually say thanks to quite a lot of you saying that. Um, I've noticed with Google's Google Plus's recent integration with YouTube, um, a lot of you guys have actually shared my, uh, my videos with each other. And... You're actually sharing your videos with people who aren't even familiar with the channel or even know who I am. So in turn, you give me, you've given me a little bit of a boost recently. So for all those people who have done that, I just want to say thanks. It's it's actually helped me out quite a lot. So yeah, big props to you guys. So from now on, like all you out there, all you guys who have Google Plus, Google Plus integration, go out there and and share my video and get me popular and shit. Yeah, that's it. But anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about this mission today. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and check the map there quick, see how this is going. I have had a lot of problems with this today. Um, I'm not too sure what the problems have been caused by, but uh, there was an issue where I came into centre and my ship glitched out and broke apart. There was a, another issue where, for some reason, my ship was generating more gravity than centre and it was seemed to be orbiting around itself. It was, it was weird. It, I, I don't understand what happened there. So I had to like come back, come into it, quick load, quick save, all this bollocks. So that's another reason why I've also done what I've done today. Um, you know what I am going to do? I am going to cheat and use Metjeb for this. I did try and get here, but I did use Metjeb for the transfer. But um, for the most part, that, that node itself was set up by me, but I'm going to cheat, so yeah, who gives a fuck. So let's have a look at what we've got. Um, I want to home and transfer to a target, so Ringle is our current target. I don't know if I have enough fuel to land this thing. The reason I have got the type of rover that I have, which I'll explain a bit more in a minute, um, is because it's going to help out with this. More on that in a sec, I've just got to go ahead and create the node, and that seems to be the point, so... In seven hours, oh, 18 seconds to get there. So is that as close as it can get, really? Um, surely not. Um, yeah, derp, mech jeb, you suck. I could have done that myself. I could have just like spun that around myself. So yeah. Anyway, back to what I was doing. God damn, man. See, th this is this is the problem I've been having. It, it, sometimes it is just easier. I have managed to figure out the phase angle and the sweet spot for doing an aero break round centre, so that's always pretty cool. Um, where the fuck's my marker? Aha, there you are. There you are, you dirty little bitch. Right, so, my trick is I'm going to try and accelerate, reach the target as close as I can, and then with what remaining fuel I've got in this tank here, I'm going to do a sort of slow descent, from which that will be emptied out, ditched, and then it will be all down to this thing, and then once that's done its job, 
It'll be down to the pod, which, as you can see here, is not a stock thing I've got set up. This is one of the Lionhead mods. As These mods are great. I've always swum by these mods. Even though I don't use them that much, they've always been like really, really good mods, and you should download them. Link in the description. This is the Prometheus Solar mod, uh, Solar Rover mod. It's been out for a while. It's uh, pretty cool, and you should give it a try. But this is uh, this thing here that I'm pointing to, uh, that you can't see me pointing to, for God knows whatever reason, because I haven't got face cam and all that shit, but... Uh, it has airbags, is what I'm trying to say. So, landing on a planet, which has no atmosphere, by the way. Uh, the target that I'm going to, Ringle, has no atmosphere, so... Using a parachute is not an option. So, I've had to go with something a little bit different. I've had to outsource myself to some mods. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I'm not, I'm not too fussed about that. I do like mods. Mods are good. Hell, the system that I'm in now is currently made of MODS! Mods and mod particles and such. So, that's always good. Um, where was I even going with that? Screw it, we're here now anyway, and we're about to begin this little, quick little burn of 18 seconds. No offense, I didn't. F I thought it would have taken a little bit more fuel to get there. You know how, how it usually does to get to the moon, but I guess I'm pretty far out from the uh, from the planet as it is right about now. I'm quite far out, so let's go, shit! Go, go, go! As fast as you can! Um, right, I may have missed that just a little bit because of talking. Never mind! I think we'll get there anyway in the end, so close that down so I've got a bit more of an accurate read on what's going on. Oh no, what's going on there? Get away! Oh no, I'm having an intercept with something else that I don't want to have an intercept with. Okay, here we go. Two million. No. Um, keep on going down. Bring that shit down. I want to get close. Yeah, that's, that looks about right. Yeah, 55,000 meters? Yeah, that looks about right indeed. So, here we go again. Oh, the travels. The travels indeed. So, right. See the bit center. Let's go see if we can see our new target. We should be able to see it with no problem. Um, I don't know where it is, though, in the grand scheme of things. Is it over there? No, ah, there it is. It's catching up over there. Um, some Somewhere in the vast reaches of space. There's a reference in there somewhere. <laughs> I know there is. Trick is, do you know what it is? Um, right, it's coming up on us quite nicely here. I wonder what's going on here. It's a bit of a strange pull. Right, here we go. So, Ringle, the next target on our list, the next visit in the center system, part of the center mod. Link in the description. You know the rest. Right, so the trick is now what I'm going to have to do is, because there's no atmosphere, I'm going to have to literally go for a suicide burn and slow my speed down as much as I can. Now, ideally, what I need to do is I need to circularize this shit um, before I start descending, but since it's on the light side, I'm, I'm quite uh, keen on the idea of going for it right here. The trick is, do I go to the apoapsis, no, the periapsis, sorry, and then burn, or uh, I think what I'll do is I'll see if I can go without reducing the speed right now. See, 2,400's quite a hefty uh, amount, wouldn't you say? I mean, I've got plenty of fuel. I'm just going to uh, see about lowering this to as low as I dare go. And try to reduce my speed by, uh, as much as I can. All right, okay, 17,000 metres. That's a, that is pretty much as low as I dare go. So, what I'm going to do from here on now is we're going to get a good look at this planet's surface. Whoa! Details loading in, causing frame skip, low frames, man. Um, it's quite cratery, so we're gonna have some issues here, I think. 2,900 meters, right? Okay. This is going to be a very hard descent, I think. So, 23,000 meters. Let's see what we can do here. See how much of our speed we can reduce before we have to resort to ditching this with the airbags. Um. point ourselves up a little bit so we get a bit of a boost up. But you know what? Change this bloody camera angle. This is annoying. Free camera. There we go. Oh, now that's a pretty sight. That's a beautiful sight indeed. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Thumbnail. <laughs> See, you'll be seeing that soon. Right, okay. So, um, back to this. Right, we're having a bit of an overheat issue, so I'm going to slow this down a little bit. And I'm going to point myself back up again because this is going pretty bad. Oh god damn it, right, point up. Right. right. There. Hold yourself there nice and steadily. 
We're actually reducing quite a bit of speed and the fuel is holding out. As long as I can keep myself pointed up like so, then I think we're going to have some landings going on here today, people. Oh, this is lovely. This is awesome. Check this out. Um, we're about to run low on fuel, but we are reducing our speed by a substantial amount. Like, we may... Oh, there we go. Right, we're out of uh, fuel in this uh, section, so let's go to the final stage. Uh, you'll notice that I do actually have a parachute attached to this. <laughs> I don't know why, but um, I do. So I'm going to use as much fuel as I can here to slow my descent. Oh man, suicide burn for the win. Let's see how much this is going to drink off. Uh, I might need to get myself up a little bit higher first. Um, now... Oh dear. Um, this isn't going well, ladies and gents. Right, uh, inflate airbags. Slow, slow time down, let's see if this works. Come on, let's go. Go, don't crash. Oh no! Not slow enough. God damn it. Vehicle is destroyed, cannot auto save. Well, thanks for telling me that game. Shit, well that didn't go well. It never works out when I use that probe. Oh well, maybe if we come back for a little bit more of a steady descent, it'll work. Alright, so after much time and energy and effort getting this here... NEEDS MORE BOOSTERS! GOTTA HAVE MORE BOOSTERS! <laughs> Shit! I'm going to go ahead and do a little sky crane job. Hopefully this time we won't smash. If this doesn't work this time, I swear to god, this is like the fourth time I've tried to record this, so... Basically what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to go ahead and rotate around the planet to a good point where I can start descending. Oh man, the issues, the issues I have had, man, like you would not believe. <sighs> KSP man, it does make you weary sometimes, but we're here, and I'm hopefully going to get you a good landing today. We've seen a bit of the terrain so far, but I'm hoping now I can maybe get onto perhaps this lighter patch here. Uh, I might need to change my inclination as we go down, but screw it. Let's go ahead and go for it. We've got a sky crane this time. We can't go wrong. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip around. If it'll allow me to do such things. Whee! I'm going to be going to begin our descent now, because I've circularized this uh, orbit a little bit better. Because, well, obviously I've had more fuel. <laughs> Did you not see that little clip then? But yeah, obviously I've had a bit more fuel to play around with, and maybe this time, just maybe it'll work. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed, it's always a good one. All right. So I'd say this is a good place to start doing the actual deorbit burn. So I'm going to go ahead and just accelerate max on. And see what happens. Oh man, I hope I've got enough fuel to do this. I'm still quite high up if I think about it. I might have circularized like a bit too high, but never mind, eh? I'm gonna be reducing that orbit down to nothingness. Aha, so let's have a look. That looks pretty cool. I like that. Um, as we go down, we'll slow a speed down and see what happens. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, we're getting in lower. Once we get to normal time warp, I believe that's when I'm gonna start doing the actual descent. A second, whoop, okay, it didn't seem to want to give us any second at all, so I'm going to just go ahead and um, do this now because we're going quite fast. Uh, I really hope this isn't going to go wrong, so yeah, um, it might do because I'm going to the ground at some pelt here, right, time warp, uh, I need some height. Oh god, where things don't go right, part three, crap. Ugh. Right, actually, no, that's not doing too bad there, so... If I can keep the overheat down, keep these things burning efficiently, keep burning at this, I could possibly hover myself to slow them. Maybe. Who knows? I, I'm still... Yeah, I'm building this out as I go, so who knows? Let's, let's go down a little bit. The time warp sending this thing a bit crazy, man. Whoa. Alright, okay, so... This is having a very positive effect. I think we're actually going to make this now, so I'm just going to go ahead and hold it here. I'm going to go for it. Woo! Stable! Uh, unstable fucking crash, should I say. Oh, what is that over there? That is a very nice crater that I think we'll go and explore with our newly uh, equipped pod. We've also got the ring going straight above us, so that's quite nice. At some point, we'll get centre up in the skies, or at least I hope so, depending on how the planet rotates. 
I'll keep going, man. We're down to... Come on, if you can get this bit of fuel down to less than uh, 1,000 metres per second, we could be golden. Damn it, there's one thing I haven't set up. I forgot to do an action group. Oh, no. Alright. Yeah, this has all got to be in quick succession when this all happens. Right, okay, go. Next stage. We Max Frost. Right, let's see if we can get a bit more height with this. We should be pretty good on power for the simple fact that uh, I've got some RTGs strapped to this, which you've probably already seen. Saying that, there was RTGs on the last one. I completely forgot about that. All right, okay, we're starting to get really low now, and the speed's not really doing much for us, so I'm going to just start pivoting back up again seeing what we can do about this. Oh god, the gravity's really got us here, so I'm just gonna speed up a little bit. Oh god. I need height. Give me height. I need to go back up. Just give me, just give me the height. Uh, we might actually... Are we going to do this? Yeah, we're going back up. Right, okay. Tip this way. Slow that speed down. Get over this crater. Wow, this is hard work, man. This is really hard work, but... If I can get down... Right, that, that one's gone, so here we go. We're coming we're coming in for it now this time, so slow down time. We are going to uh crap, I don't know which one's which now. Uh get rid of that. Um We're then gonna activate the engines. And then we're gonna bring that one there, so don't let me down, Sky Crane. We're also gonna engage the uh airbags. Oh god, that hasn't gone entirely right. Damn it! <sighs> Shit. Well, two attempts later, and we've made a right mess of this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching these two failed episodes of Kerbal Space Program. Hopefully next time I'll come back and we'll do something successful. We'll go to another planet. Ringle, in this case, has defeated me. As always, people, like, comment, and from now on, share this video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bottom? Button. Yeah, I'll catch you all in a bit, people. Peace out. What a crock.